welcome to my channel and my first YouTube birthday celebration. So a year ago today, I published my first food video on YouTube and I may well put a link to that video at the end of this one. We'll have to see if I remember to do that or not. I thought I would invite you guys to celebrate my first YouTube birthday with me. And what better way to do it than by letting you guys choose exactly what I'm going to be eating for the entire day. So that's what I've done. You guys voted and the results are in. My real birthday is in the winter, so I am more than happy to have a reason to celebrate in summer because in winter, nobody has any money. It's horrible weather and everywhere you go, it's Christmas menus. So there will be none of that happening today. I will not be wearing this tiara for the whole day, but I bought this for my Jubilee video and I am getting my money's worth from it, believe me. So it may be making several appearances in future videos for no other reason than I own it. If you missed out on the polls, don't worry because if my channel is still here next June the 22nd, then I'll probably hand over to you guys again then. Let's go back in time and see where you guys sent me to get my coffee. Honestly, guys, trying to do my makeup without my morning coffee was not easy. But let's find out what you guys have chosen for me. Starbucks. And here I have a short, which is the smallest size they do, caramel macchiato. And it cost me £3.30. Wow, I did not think it was going to cost that much. I'm going to drink this on the way home. Even though I am a Costa girl at heart, I'm really glad that you picked Starbucks because I haven't had a caramel macchiato for ages and I actually really fancied one. So thank you. I'm just heading to Morrison's to pick up some of the things that you guys have chosen for me to have today. And I thought I would show you some of the lovely Scottish scenery. So I gave you guys four breakfast options and you picked pastry. So I have here on a stupidly large dinner plate, a very small almond croissant. Now I got this from Morrison's. My original plan was to have one from Starbucks, but I saw the price of it. £2.30 along with that coffee and I just thought no I'm not made of money and I am having takeaway later on. I just hope the place I want to use is open. I would never have known I liked almond croissants if I hadn't done that too good to go video and got one one of my magic bags. I actually didn't have a clue when I gave the pastry option what pastry I might have um, and it's just this morning I really fancied an almond croissant. And this definitely isn't as nice as the Starbucks one but way cheaper. There's no point putting you on a time lapse because I'm eating this so quickly but I am hungry. There's nothing on this, by the way. Thank you guys for your breakfast choice. I'm going to attempt to blow up some balloons, which I have not done. Oh, I don't even know when I last tried and I was not successful. So I'll film it on time lapse and it may make it into the video. Otherwise, I'll see you when it's time for mid morning snack and find out what you guys chose for me.
this is when I really, really love you guys because out of the four options, you picked Rocky Road. And when I was making that option, this was the only Rocky Road on my mind. It is the Costa Coffee Biscoff Rocky Road Bar and it is sensational. I think if you hadn't picked this, I would probably have cried. Mm. I first had this in my Costa New In video and I've had it a few times since. And I am not bored of it yet, but it is melting a little bit in my fingers. I mean, it's got bits of raisin in it, so that's fruit. I know I like to try and keep my midweek videos shorter than my Sunday videos, but if I keep eating at this pace, this video is going to be over in five minutes. I'll see you guys when it's time for lunch. For lunch, you guys decided I would be having macaroni cheese. This is the Macintosh one, which I really, really love. And it's not too big a portion because it is just lunch. Um, I didn't give drink options for anything except coffee. And I would normally just have water, but I've gone for the innocent smoothie, blueberries, peaches and apples, which I've never had before. Because let's just say you guys are not big on the fruit and veg. I don't think I have that many fruit and veg options. I'm drinking it through a straw because I don't know why. I just am. But I've just realised the bottle is a bit big to leave the straw in it. Didn't think that one through. If you've never had Macintosh before and you can get it, I highly recommend it because I am very fussy when it comes to macaroni cheese. I find they can quite often be quite watery. And this one is so cheesy and thick. Mm. The only thing missing is that crunchy bit of cheese on top. This choice did actually take me by surprise. I kind of put it on because I thought of th the other three options and I needed a fourth. And I just stuck macaroni cheese down. <laughs> and lo and behold, it's the one you guys chose. They do a version with smoked cheese, I think, and I'm sure there's a version with bacon. I'll pop you on time lapse and I'm going to listen to a podcast. <laughs> If I'd actually stopped and thought about it properly, I could have popped this under the grill because you microwave it and just let it crisp up a bit. So I'm going to do that next time. That was lunch part one because I did get you guys to vote for something else. And well, let's just see what you chose. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are going for double carbs because you picked crisps and I went for original flavoured hula hoops because they're my favourites. When I put crisps down as an option, it was because I had put down sandwich. I never thought for a moment you would pick crisps and macaroni cheese. I should have known better. If you can hear a lot of noise, someone is getting a Sainsbury's delivery. I mean, I'm laughing a bit at macaroni, cheese and crisps, but I've had macaroni, cheese and chips before. It's been a really beige day so far. I'll pop you on time lapse again while I enjoy my second portion of carbs. I'm actually pretty full after that so I think I'm just gonna lie on the sofa for a bit and maybe watch some telly. I'm too carved up to go out and do anything energetic and it's my birthday so I can do what I want. So sofa and telly it is and I'll see you when it's time for afternoon snack. I ended up having to get this clip-on rosette because it turns out that they don't really do pin on badges for one year olds because it's not really a great idea to give sharp objects to babies. Who'd have thought it? 
So you guys again surprised me with your choice for my afternoon snack. You went for Millionaire's Shortbread and this is one of a four pack from M&S. I was thinking about getting the Starbucks or Costa one, but because I got the Rocky Road, I decided I better just get one from a shop. And the m &S ones are really, really good. I also really like the ones from Greg's. And I think they taste amazing when they've been in the fridge. Mm. Yum. I am all about that thick, sweet layer of caramel. So, the question is, will I be moving out of the beige end of the colour spectrum for dinner? Well, guys, you'll just have to wait and find out. Okay, guys, let's see what you chose for my dinner. Now, I have to admit, I was surprised because I thought you would pick kids' party food. But a new pizza place opened near me last week and I have not had a chance to try it yet. Pizza is my favourite savoury food. And for my birthday video, what better meal to end the day on? So I have ordered their margarita pizza and they have a deal on where you can get a pizza and a dessert or a drink. Well, a dessert or a milkshake. You guys have chosen dessert for me and this place do not do the dessert you chose. So very sadly, it has meant I am, have been forced to choose a milkshake. So I'm really excited because I was able to order exactly what I would have ordered had I had a free choice. So thank you guys. I just hope it's going to be as good as I think it is. I also need to decide where to eat it. I was thinking of having dinner on the floor, kind of picnic style, but I'm in a cream skirt. I'm going to end up with pizza on this skirt, guaranteed. So I'm probably going to sit at the table. Um, I don't know yet, but luckily I've got time to decide while the restaurant are preparing it and bringing it to me. So I'll see you once it has arrived. Problem solved, I have swapped my cream skirt for some black harem pants. Better take the tiara off though, because I don't want to still have it on when the delivery driver turns up. They are on the way and I'm hoping they get here soon because I'm getting hungry. The pizza has arrived and it comes with garlic and herb dip. Et voila, a 12 inch margarita pizza, which is still very hot and smells amazing. And then here I have my Biscoff milkshake. Very carefully show you the inside because I don't want to spill it everywhere. I hadn't even thought about getting a dip for the crusts, to be honest. I'm gonna try this first. It's thick. Oh, wow. This is an excellent milkshake. And you'll know I'm quite the connoisseur. It's got a really clear Biscoff taste and it's sweet and creamy. But of course, the pizza is the main event. I hope I don't get this all over the sofa. I could have got one with mushrooms but i would have had to do a create your own and it wouldn't have been included in the deal i've just realized that basically i mean there's red in the pizza from the tomato but otherwise <laughs> my dinner's entirely beige as well <laughs> even the milkshake is beige What can I say? I like beige food. 
They gave me napkins, which is a really good idea because I'm getting messy. This is a really good pizza. I love thin crust pizzas, stone baked. Not going to be snogging anyone, so. Mmm, that is a good dip. I'm going to pop you on time lapse. I'm watching Below Deck Mediterranean. I waited until like the whole series was over so I could binge watch it. Um, I don't know why I love it so much. I just do. I could never work on a yacht. I get seasick, so that would kind of rule me out immediately. I need to stop talking and eat this while it's still hot. I absolutely love you guys for this dinner. I don't think there is an option I would have liked more. This pizza and milkshake are so, so good, but I am feeling pretty stuffed. So I'll probably have this half. I know you shouldn't reheat it in the microwave, but I'll reheat it in the microwave and it might be tomorrow's lunch because um, I don't want to get too full. I still have dessert to have. Dessert. And you guys chose cheesecake. So this is one sixth of the Sainsbury's Millionaire's Cheesecake, I want to say. Um, so <laughs> we're back to beige, but hey, why not end the day as it began? Now, this does look like quite a small bit, but I am very, very full. And as I say, it is one sixth. I got this cheesecake because it was on offer. I probably would have got the English Cheesecake Co. Biscoff slices, which were also on offer, but they didn't have any of those in stock. And actually, it's probably nice to have something a bit different, although I did have Millionaire's Shortbread earlier, but... It's not as good as the English Cheesecake Company, but it's still nice. I want to say thank you to everyone who voted and made this video possible. And to everyone who has subscribed to my channel and supported me because this year has gone very quickly and it means the world to me that people want to watch my videos, even if it's not many people. It doesn't matter, quality over quantity and all that. So thank you for celebrating with me. I hope there'll be a second birthday, but we'll just have to see. I do hope that you'll come back for the next video. Take care of yourself and have yourself a slice of cake because that's the one thing you guys did not pick for me today. My name is Kaz Loves Cake and there were at least three cake options. You guys did not choose it once. But I do not mind. This has been a good day of food. <laughs>